Hi there. One of the other big, big topics in family law is the concept of alimony. Alimony is monthly payments made from one spouse to the other that essentially support the receiving spouse's lifestyle. As you can probably tell, this is a very polarizing topic. Alimony is also really one of the grayest gray areas of family law in Maryland. Unlike child support, there are no set guidelines or statutes that, or, or equations that affirmatively tell a practitioner what their client is going to pay in alimony. Alimony is based on 12 factors that are set forth in a statute, and those 12 factors have subcategories, and you throw all this data in front of the court, and the trial judge makes a decision based on which factors they find most persuasive. Now, there are some kind of, there are guidelines out there that can be helpful in preparing for this, but the court isn't required to consider them. The most important tool in this process is the long form financial statement, which is the subject of another video that I've already done. Because of the lack of mandatory guidance, we'll call it on alimony, and the fact that alimony really is by nature a case by case issue, so much power is in the hands of the trial judge. And your trial judge could have their own experience and bias, which is going to lead them to weigh a certain factor more than the others. And this is where it's really important to have the right attorney with the right amount of experience who might know in advance how your judge might lean. In certain jurisdictions, that's easier said than done because the court will go out of its way to ensure that you don't know who you're gonna have in advance. Um, but any experienced family law practitioner is going to know that the alimony outcome at trial is going to factor heavily on who's hearing the case. Another thing that experienced family law practitioners will do is they'll provide their clients with a range of potential outcomes rather than a specific number um, and length of time that you'll be paying that specific number because it's just too hard to pinpoint down. Any attorney that tells you, oh, you're definitely going to pay this amount of money for this amount of time, no question about it, um, you should have some questions about that attorney. Now, the two big questions about alimony are amount and duration, which boils down to how much and for how long. Maryland courts tend to favor what's called rehabilitative alimony, which is a concept that alimony is paid over a period of time that allows the receiving spouse to get on their feet and to become self-supporting. Now, the payers of rehabilitative alimony might disagree with that definition, but that's the general concept. There's also indefinite alimony, which is a court remedy for individuals who either can never, for whatever their circumstances, become self-supporting, or if the respective standard of livings are gonna be so unequal that the court would consider them unconsciously disparate. That's the concept of maybe, you know, one spouse is incredibly wealthy, the other spouse was kind of the stay-at-home spouse, and no matter what the stay-at-home spouse does for job training or going back to school, they're never gonna reach the status of the paying spouse, they're never gonna be a millionaire, or whatever the case may be, and so it might be a case where indefinite alimony is on the table. Now, if you have any questions about alimony, whether you might be in the position to receive alimony or whether you want to avoid paying a lot of alimony, please do not hesitate to call my office at Weinberg & Schwartz. The number is 410-997-0203. If you have any questions about me personally, all of my information is in the description of this video below, including my links to my Twitter page, my Instagram account, and my LinkedIn page. And as always, please like this video, please comment on it, comment on it and share it with all your friends. Thank you very much for your time.